My name is George Billis. I'm the director of the Red Dot Art Fair in Miami in New York City. The Red Dot Art Fair was started seven years ago. It started in New York and then in Miami, so this is our sixth year in Miami. And uh, we're a fair that represents about 63 different dealers this year. We have painting, sculpture, and photography. Uh, we're hosting Sculpt Miami, which is doing our sculpture garden. And we also have a portion of our fair dedicated to a special show called Art Korea. So we're quite international this year. We're very proud of that. I live in Miami Beach, so I'm local. And I am uh, happy to be here on this exhibition. Originally, I'm an architect, so, but I was studying art uh, for five years as well as engineering. And um, in 1996, I came here from Soviet Union. So with my bright colors and with my paintings, uh, I want to bring good mood to people around and make them happy. My works here is abstract. I usually work in surrealistic stuff. But because this is contemporary style uh, exhibition, I've decided to bring my last works, which one, uh, most of them is uh, uh, abstract art in acrylic. I'm Ken Orton. I'm from Birmingham in the middle of England. Um, and this is my work. I remember one of my first experiences was drinking my brother's turpentine when he was learning to oil paint, so I quite seriously have um, oil painting in my veins. Well, this is something, this is really quite um, something I tried to specialize in. It's a photo real image. I took a photograph myself uh, of the, uh, the cornet here and the, the toy car beyond it. And the thing I'm really trying to um, exaggerate here is the field of focus, the fact that certain areas of this painting are in focus very tightly, really quite tightly detailed, and certain areas are drifting out of focus. This area is too close to us, these areas too far away from us to actually be in focus. This gives the brain that we are looking at a real object, and indeed many people without any sophistication towards art history, towards being able to speak Italian and say chiaro oscuro or any of those things. Many people are kidding that this is a very real object. Little kids see this. And that's something I'm quite proud of. Really. Hi, I'm Jane Seymour. I'm an artist and an actress and uh, very excited to be here at Red Dot. I've been painting uh, watercolors to begin with, then oils, pastels, a lot of different styles. But then I uh, came up with a whole series of paintings about uh, women's heart health and about opening your heart. And I realized that my mother had always told me that when life was tough, when something was really impossibly hard, that the instinct is to close off and not let anyone know about it and to hold it inside. But that if you could open your heart, you could accept what's happened, be in the present moment, and by reaching out, as you see here, by reaching out to help someone else with your heart open, love would come into your life or a solution would come to your issues, your problems. And so I came up with this image, first as a painting, then as a series of paintings, and then as sculptures, bronze sculptures. We also have a foundation now called the Open Heart Foundation. We have events, we honor people who have been through adversity and who open their hearts to help other people.
I'm Sam Champion from ABC's Good Morning America. I have been an art collector for now at least about 20 years, and with Art Basel coming into Miami, um, it brought this incredible excitement of other art fairs, other art exhibits into Miami, and I think Red Dot is one of the most exciting ones to come in. Um, I find a lot of emerging artists here. I find a lot of different mediums here. I don't think there's an art scene that is more exciting than this one that is in Miami. The entire town explodes with people from all over the world to enjoy art from all over the world. And it is, it's a wonderful time.